So I drilled a hole through the wall here, and essentially, we'll go down to my, I'm gonna have my uh, RODI storage and my uh, auto top off storage. And here's where I took and uh, made my hookup for my future RODI unit, just sitting over here, just chilling. I was going to tap into the hot water heater uh, line, but decided to go over here instead. So it's already plumbed in, ready to go. Yeah. Had to use my shark bite fittings. It was, uh, what, half inch pipe, so I needed a uh, three-way T shark bite fitting to a uh, half inch shark bite fitting with a female thread and use a male thread adapter to a quarter inch OD and that's what you see going on there uh, three-way shark bite the adapter half inch to thread and then the male thread to quarter inch OD then got me a little uh, cut off right here. Otherwise, I'd have water shooting out all over the place like I had earlier. Always make sure you turn off your main before you start. All right, so I think I'll take this time to take a little uh, tour of the tank here. What I got set up so far, um, there it is in all its glory. I think it's a 125 gallon. Uh, built the stand and I drilled that hole in the wall as you see right here and use my drill right there got a little mess going on I need to use my shop vac and clean that up it's my apex controller and chiller Here I got the overflows. I just uh, silicone those on there. Um, those are inch and a half pipes in the back there. Uh, three quarter inch pipes for uh, my returns. Vortec MP40s on both sides. Again, my inch and a uh, inch and a half piping. Got a chain sitting in the middle. That's where I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hang my little canopy-ish type thing from the ceiling. I got the Radeon LEDs, so uh, that'll go in a canopy. That'll be my lighting, but that's a little further down the line. There's my sump right there. A little shop vac. I know uh, some people might be asking, why did I use the flex line instead of the hard PVC? Well, it's because of where I had to drill the holes. I couldn't drill them right under where the pipe would go, so I had to use the flex line to be able to bring it under the stand. So, yep. Hooking up my RODI. As I showed you before, there's my connection out of my hose line, half inch, and then I took and I, you know, found my uh, my studs in the wall. Put some of these big old long bolts in there. Make sure that I hold it on there nice and good. Now connecting up all the lines. TDS meter. Got that Ultra Life one. Found it cheap. Yep. Have a, this is a three stage, but I'm gonna add a fourth stage. Got it over sitting on the side. Have a cut about three, you know, sediments sediment filters about a five micron two one microns before it goes into the reverse osmosis and then goes into the di stage this last stage here 
So as you can see, it'll come from, uh, this black line is going to come from that first stage, that five micron stage, and go into this, the first stage on this three stage here, which is, uh, these are two one micron uh, sediment filters. That ought to get, out, get rid of all that chlorine and all that good stuff. Help ex extend the life of that RODI unit. And then go up into this RODI unit or this RO unit and then go down here into this last stage which is the uh, DI unit. Put the DI resin in there in a minute. Get everything ready. Getting it ready for my leak test. Alright, good. I'm going to go ahead and drill another hole. That's my return or my pump line and I'm going to drill a drain line. You going to record for me? Alright, good. Yeah. I'm going to drill this hole in the wall so make sure you get this. If something crazy happen, just scream for my... sheet of drywall not like how I had to go through the house with two sheets of drywall this one only requires one so I'm gonna just use it and go through the hole so I took my little come on you can come over here you got me took my little stud finder got up under here found my studs I got uh, my seal plate is right there my studs are about 16 inches apart here and here you can see where I drilled my first pipe that's where I drilled the other hole now I'm gonna drill a hole right about there. This kind of be, this gonna be kind of blind when I do it. Wait, that's it? What'd you record? You supposed to be recording me. Now you all still over there. Anyway, it's gonna be a, a blind kind of drill because I went under the house and I seen exactly what it looked like. But right now I'm not quite sure exactly what it looks like. So you, can you see? Yeah. See where I'm about to drill? Yep. You sure? Wait, I guess. Yeah. You sure? Okay, I'm about to do it. Super simple. Wasn't that easy? Yeah. Here's my hole. Got one there. Drop the pipe right down there. Right through. Good to go. All right, you can stop the recording now. And there goes my two pipes. I got my my new salt water pipe right there, and my drainage pipe right there. And tie anything in there that I want, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I have a, a old salt water pump in the sump that will pump water down that drain and get rid of it for me. Um, trying to think, maybe I might have some other stuff that might drain out of there, but uh, that's about it. All right, cut my piping. Mm, maybe a good 34 inches there. Got my little 90 degrees, 90 degrees, going through the holes there. And almost ready. So this will be for my uh, auto top off right here. That can right there will pump that new salt water in there. And that drain over there is going to go ahead and bring it right on back out. And then I'm going to tie that into my house's uh, drainage system. So for that, I'm going to need uh, about a... 
I'm gonna need a T. I'm gonna need a three inch T by one inch. So that little, uh, the two ends of the T are gonna be three inches and the middle of the T is gonna be a one inch. Go ahead and tie that one inch pipe in there. So then I'll get my nice drainage in there. Maybe get a nice little T to go in there and then I could put my, you know, from my RODI unit, put the, uh, you know, the wastewater so that it'll pipe in there too. That way I ain't gotta worry about none of that water. Just goes right on out. I don't ever have to see it. All right, video log of all the crap that I've done. Got my RODI all plumbed in and ready to go. So, just to recap all the stuff I've done. I don't remember what the heck I did in the last video, but I got the bad boy up on the wall. I got rid of that other stage because it was leaking. Uh, I'll get one later on down the line. So, goes out here from one of the, the hose lines. There's my main right there. Main hose, the hose that goes to the backyard. Plumbed it into that. Goes up in here, going through all this nice little stages. Got my TDS meter right there. Uh, what, is, what pressure is it pumping right about now? Um, focus. There we go. Nope, still not focused. Yeah, almost 60. Not too bad. It's going through. Got it filling up this bucket. Can't really see. It's too dark. Filling up this bucket. I took in, plumbed the uh, wastewater straight into this pipe right here. There we go. Focus. Sorry, recording this on an iPhone. Um, goes into this pipe right here. This pipe goes under the house and plums into the house plumbing. I had to get a, a T connection, a three inch by inch and a half, because that's all they had at Lowe's. And then I reduced it down to a one inch pipe. And so that plums into there. And also what plums into there, if you go to the other side of the, the wall, the fish tank is there. Uh, my old salt water pump will pump water down there and it'll go straight into the drain. I ain't got to worry about it. I'm good to go. This uh, trash can you see right here. That's going to be my new salt water and then I'm going to put another one over here and that's going to be where I'm going to put the RODI water. It's not going to go into a bucket like that. It's going to go into, I guess, a, a Rubbermaid trash can about, or actually that's Brute. Well, same, same. Brute Rubbermaid. It'll go into a trash can just like this one and the RODI water will pump into that one. I can mix my salt up in there. I'll have a nice little pump to mix it up. And then it'll go right on in there. So I'm almost to the water uh, leak testing phase where I can put some water on in this aquarium and see if I got any leaks. Uh, see if there was any cracks in anything during the shipping process. All right, in the garage, you can hear that pump going. Beautiful, no leaks coming out of here. Everything's good to go. Ooh, finally might get this bad boy up and running. All right, water test commenced. Got the water pumping in from the uh, new salt water reservoir out in the, the garage so far so good no leaks yet everything's going good going from my return pump into this chiller here going up from the chiller to these bad boys no leaks so far all right let me not jinx myself let me test everything I don't see anything leaking there Thing leaking there so that's good but I'm more worried about the returns whether something's gonna leak if anything's gonna leak it'll probably leak from there so let me go check out the garage make sure nothing's leaking from there all right leak test successful 
Right now I'm pumping out the, some of the water out of my old salt water pump right there. It's going down. Got no leaks. Overflow is working properly. No leaks from any pipes. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, beautiful. All pipes good. Leak test set. So I was uh, just going to record these videos for the purpose of really, you know, just to keep track later on of everything that I did to set up this aquarium. But now I decided I'm going to post most of this stuff to YouTube for this reason right here, right? This pipe right here taught me a valuable lesson, right? So I used my old salt water pump to pump water from out of my sump down into the house line. And one thing that I found is that when I cut off the pump, there was a siphon and it kept on going. So if you look at the previous videos, this part right here, oh, there we go, this part right here, it wasn't on there. It was just a regular, you know, 90 going in there and down into the, into the crawl space under the house to the house uh, drainage system, right? And so because of the lack of any air getting into that pipe, it would create a siphon and, you know, keep sucking all the water out of my tank. And that's not good, obviously. But, you know, there's a wealth of knowledge on YouTube and somebody that would have told me, hey, buddy, you know, it's going to create a siphon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post these videos to YouTube and maybe some things that I did that, you know, may become a problem later on down the line. Somebody might comment and say, hey, buddy, you know, this is the wrong way to do it. And then I can go ahead and correct that. Um, just, you know, it's a way to, to share knowledge. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and, and post those up once I, you know, I kind of, you know, put all of these videos that I recorded into a decent little uh, single video. And so step by step, I'll just post the videos up and then, you know, take some advice. I think my next step... Uh, after I pump all of this uh, crappy water that I use from the hose out, I'm going to, you know, take my RODI unit, fill this bucket up here with, uh, I should say, trash can up with uh, some RODI unit water, pump that in there, you know, start getting ready to actually, you know, actually use this tank. And then after that, I need to make a kind of like a canopy top. But I'm not going to do a, a actual canopy. I'm uh, actually going to suspend my lights from the ceiling, but have something like a little canopy. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe get some ideas for that and build it. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I'm a big do-it-yourself. I like building stuff. And, you know, I learn from that. Uh, one thing I definitely need to do is uh, I need to definitely rebuild uh, that, that side of the aquarium, if you notice, it was missing. Uh, did a little damage to it, uh, or a little damage was done to it on the move, so I need to rebuild that. Uh, you can't really tell uh, just from this video, but yeah, it was a little damaged, so I'm going to rebuild it, repaint it, and put a new one on. Uh, that's about it.